the principle to focus and to flow. If we look at the sun and the earth, we realize a basic and fundamental law of function which we as human beings can learn from and which is of utmost help in the right movement of life. The sun, through light, gives life to the earth. The sun is fixed in its position and it has to be. Otherwise, the earth and all the other planets of our solar system could not continue in their rhythmic, harmonious orbit. There would be chaos, upheaval and great damage. The earth, on the other hand, is constantly moving in repetitive cycles around the sun. Movement allows for change and expression which has a beginning, middle and end. In other words, the phenomenon of time is created by the Earth's balanced and harmonious cyclic rhythms. Both are necessary for life. The Earth has all the potential for life, but without the light from the fixed source, there would be no life. In the same way, the sun has the power to give life, but if the moving earth did not hold the potential, even with light, there would be no manifestation of life. In certain situations and moments, we need focus, a concentration of thought, will and understanding. These three need to be together in one focused point if we are to reach depth and newness. But if we become over-focused, then gradually rigidity and pressure set in. This leads to an imbalance that makes us lose creativity and openness for a new vision. What we find in focus needs at one point to flow naturally, appropriately and systematically into our life. In focus we find the vision, the inspiration, the understanding and in the flow we find the expression, the experimentation, the experience. And just as overfocus becomes negative, so does overflowing. When there is overflow, we get lost in a flood of overthinking, overspeaking, and overdoing. Then there's no direction that guides the expression. Things become vague and fragile. At such a point, we need to recognize that it is time for focus, time to go inside, time to be silent. According to necessity, the human being needs to move between focus and flow, and only one's discernment can know when and how to do this. Everything has its time. 